I'm getting ready to head out and go get coffee with a friend, an actor friend, and I just want to chat with him and get to know more of his acting goals and more of his personality. Conrad has over seven years of acting experience in theater and on camera, and he also makes content, really fun content, where he creates original characters, where he does a lot of improv. He has characters like Father Time that are hilarious. I'm so excited to be part of his work. He just has like over 750,000 followers. He's done uh, sponsored content for Hulu and Campbell's and I saw really fun Arby's one so let's go get coffee with Conrad. We're gonna just talk acting and, and see how we can collaborate together in the future. We met at the Aura uh, casting event in yep, 2022. Yep. We just said hi and I was like let's work together yeah. and I had never even seen your stuff but <laughs> right after I said let's work together I said wait let me check out your stuff first and then let's work together. You had to make sure I was legit right? Well, you like I don't know what this guy does. Yeah, because um, I knew you made like online content right. for like Instagram, TikTok, right, right, right. but I was like, okay, but what kind of content? Has that happened to you when somebody's like, let's work together yes. and you're like, no? See, the crazy thing about this, this is actually my first collaboration, period. Yep. When it comes to like the online content, yeah. <laughs> Given my schedule is like, oh, it's always so much easier just like, I'm gonna film by myself. By myself, yeah. I'm just gonna knock it out. I love people, so I think it's a lot of fun to like collaborate and hang out with people. But sometimes it is better to just do it by yourself. I want to learn more about your acting, like mm. what you do and what you want to do. Yes. Are you SAG? You do you have representation? MDT. I do. MDT. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah we when, have the, same, the same San family. Francisco representation. MDT family. Do you have any reps anywhere else? Yes, I do. As a content creator, I actually just got representation with A List Me. Yeah. yeah, so I started acting, I guess you could say professionally, six, seven years ago. Oh. When I came to the Bay Area. So I kind of fell into acting like a little bit later in life. Oh. So I took a class, um, Improv for Entrepreneurship. I was a business student. And I was like, this is going to be easy. Right? You're like, this, I, this, you're like I, I got need this. to do improv for the business. I was like, I need my four credits. Let's get in there. Let's do this elective and let's get out. That's so fun. And then I really enjoyed it. It was fun. It was like, it was electric just to get in there and like not really, like just go purely off the of instinct. Kept studying, did uh, Studio ACT, did oh, Layla, Layla Improv School. Yeah, and then like I started getting to the theater scene. So that's really where I got my feet wet. And then I went into on camera, I would say more like in 2021, 20, 2020. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Really recent. Yeah, so super recent. Do you self submit? I do self-submit. What casting um, websites do you use? I use Casting Networks. I use Backstage oh. and Actors Access. So I, I kind of the, the track. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I said, oh, because I just You just got gave, on Backstage? I just gave Backstage another chance because yes. I've done it a few times. And it's just, it's in LA, there's a lot of stuff. In San Francisco, uh, I, not, not so much, and like the yeah. the pedigree of the yes. of the project can vary. Yeah. So you definitely have to do your research. When I first wanted to make that pivot and start getting more on camera experience, most of my projects were coming from backstage. Mm. If I'm being completely honest, it's a great place to start. It's a good place to cut your teeth. There's a lot of student films. There's other independent call them filmmakers that people wanted to do like internet commercials for yeah. their social media for their uh, for their like small businesses yeah. and and different things they have going on. I go back and forth between having a day job and yeah. not having a day job and right now I don't and I can tell you this time mind you I've done this at least six times like not having a day job and then having a day job yeah, yeah, yeah. this time is the first time where I've gotten so many gears going Ooh, I've like booked stuff love I've, I've I just have such a good schedule because yeah. in the past it'd be like oh whatever I'm just gonna watch TV all day today I'm gonna catch up <laughs> because on this that's show. research it, it is research, research but now <laughs> depending what I, on what it is what i do for research now is i always leave my watching research for the night time where i'm gonna Ooh. already watch tv so when i have time to watch my own shows and i'm, I'm not with my partner yeah because it's that. just a better use of time and i feel more balanced about it now for some reason like i am working all day sometimes like 12 hours a day and it's bad but i haven't had a day job since december i have to say like Something in me, something in the universe has changed. Not to say I'm not gonna have a day job soon because reality I mean, is never I need money. You never know. I need money. So if I don't consistently book more acting jobs, then I'm gonna have to be like, okay, how's my bank account looking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need a day job like next month. Yeah. So And that is okay. And right and like kind of back to what you were saying, sometimes it's your moment to just turn on the burners, right? Like like literally it is all go, maybe it's 12 yeah. hour days, 10 or whatever it is, your capacity. Mm -hmm is able to give you 
and just know that maybe you might need a break afterwards or yeah. just know just know yourself and just know like when it's your moment to really like hit the gas and like keep going in life it's all about who you know and it's not necessarily about like because to me sometimes it sounds like you're going to take advantage of them and you have to be born into it right. that's not the case at all like we get along well exactly. let's work together we're exactly. friends you know not everybody are we going to say yes to and number two don't just be nice to people because you want something out of them like it's you're, it's going to show yeah be, gen <laughs> be genuine about it right yeah. like like sure there's people you may aspire to like reach up towards and say hey i really want to get to know this person who's at the mm -hmm. top of my field it's much easier to reach at your same level is what I'm starting to notice. And everybody grows. And, so, and everybody grows eventually. So eventually like, you're gonna know. There you yeah. go. Like yeah. somebody who you may have been acting with 10 years ago when you first started could end up being a showrunner, could end up being a yes. producer, could end up being one of the best directors in yeah. sci-fi. Writers, yeah. And yeah. then they say, hey, do you want to be in this? Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, and yeah. it takes a long time and like just allow those relationships to cultivate on their own. Yeah stay in touch with people and i think a big thing is to stay top of mind right so yes, like that's why social media sometimes i, was, I want to quit you just saw that outside of my i was like literally just thinking about yeah. that that's not the only reason why i do my social media but content but it, one of it the, helps that's one of the ways to network like you were saying networking it's about who you know but you don't have to know them from birth you don't have to know them from right. school you can meet them at film mixers that's one of my new favorite places to get cast in film festivals are film mixers it's like an all day of film mixers i recently went to do you know dov active poet okay no. i'll show you okay. him but um one of my friends dov who i met oh my gosh <laughs> I don't even know, five, six years ago. I met him such a long time ago. I went to go support him. He had a film in San Francisco and it was at a film festival. Okay. There was a talk back. The director was in the front. I love the film. I love the director's wow. vibe. I was like, oh my gosh. He just seems like such a joy to work with. Smiles, optimism, right. willing to have a improv. Like you, you get two takes to get what I want and then you get two takes to do what you want. As wait, long as we wait, have wait, time. Wait, wait, hold, time. As long on. as we have time. I, I'll tell you who, we, who it is. Yeah, I'll send you a link. That gets and, me excited. And you should see this film. I'm just trying to think. They might be at the Brave Maker Film Festival because they're, they're going to okay. submit. Is that going to be in April or May? Redwood City is July 11th to the 14th, 2024. Remember that date. Oh. <laughs> I'll be there. Hopefully you'll be there. I'm, and it's I'm really affordable. Just really quick. $175 for a VIP ticket for four days. All the films you want. Workshops. Easy. Last year, I, I booked basically three things. Just that, by going to that. Just by talking to people at the VIP party after, because there's VIP Networking parties. people, networking. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's really worth it. And, and do it genuinely, like I was saying, because there's right. some people who literally will be like, oh my God, let's go talk to him because of this. And I'm like, I, I'd rather just like chill like yeah if i already know your work or something right. but sometimes they're like oh they're a casting director we have to go talk to them and i'm just oh like, and so they're pretty much only targeting like casting directors mm -hmm. they're targeting like certain it's just like when you go up to somebody <laughs> with a purpose and you're not even like really a fan you don't even really know their work yeah that's a tough like one. it's different going up to somebody and being like hey i really appreciate your work i really love the way you did this i think that's nice what to i told you. you when i first met you because like, i've seen oh, your you stuff did? i've seen your yeah, stuff I've seen, <gasps> I've seen your stuff before Conrad yeah. is a subscriber. I'm a subscriber, y'all. <laughs> so my friend Dov had a film in San Francisco. Okay. I went to go support it, support, you know, your friends. Definitely. And after they had a talk back, and I love the vibe of the director. But after, I went to say hi to him really quickly, because sometimes they are really bombarded. Um, true. But then after, I... I just told my friend, hey, Dob, can you make an introduction? So he did. So now I've had a conversation with that director and he's like, yeah, I'll definitely keep you in mind. And he was like, and actually, I either auditioned you for something or I had you on a short list because I definitely remember your name. So he already had seen me and I was like, cool, let's be friends and let's work on something in the future. So the best type of network. something is brewing there. That's good. And you can do that at a film festival 30 times. You can go watch so many films sometimes there's uh like in at the brave maker film festival yeah. there's a section of bay area shorts so you oh, wow. go and you watch like eight shorts i don't know how many 10 shorts and after you have a row of filmmakers now that are and willing you've to seen talk. their work and you've seen their work <laughs> that way you know okay do i want to invest in this yeah do i, do invest I fit in that? into the, the world that they like to create and that's another thing that I think I had to learn throughout the whole acting process as you go th throughout your career is that you don't always fit in every single world. Yeah. Your acting abilities may allow you to, right? Like, and that's yeah. why when you- You're like, I can do anything. Exactly, you can do anything, which is 
probably true. You can you can do anything. I'm yeah. not trying to put limitations you on You can do people. anything, but maybe you don't have the essence of everything. Or the vibe or the energy, or you just don't fit the vision of what that person had originally yeah. thought for that role, and that's okay. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> I have a question about the union. Do you have any yes. vouchers yet? No. Do you want to join not the yet. union? Eventually, yeah. Okay. 100%. Cool. Cool. <laughs> 100%. I like that. Good. So what are your goals? Yes. So your, I, your like five year plan for acting yes, specifically. Yes. So I've got some very specific goals, but Ooh. I'm going to start with the very much like high level thing. I just want to be a working actor. Yes. <laughs> like, like I think that is that is important, right? And, and I think I saw this on Instagram from a different interview from another actor who had been doing this for a long time, but like there's a difference between being a star mm. and like just being a working actor, right? Oh, 100%. Like, it's two different ballparks and they require a lot of lucky breaks. I mean, yeah. even just becoming a working actor may require a lot of lucky breaks. So yeah. I think for me, that's the first part. Let's just be a working actor. I want people to really know me as like a professional. Right? Like, when I come to set, you know, you're going to get everything from me. Trustworthy, knows you, all the lines, exactly. understands how to take direction. Exactly, and I can fill in. Knows where the camera is. And I can fill in, right? Like if you're like, there's something that maybe I'm noticing or like continuity. I want to be that person who's like a value add mm -hmm. on top of what they already do in their mm -hmm. specific mm -hmm. given role. So that's just one thing for me. But then the specifics, since you asked, we're going to go through a little bit of it. I would love to be able to eventually be someone who you know can bring a lot of realism to mm. whimsical characters and like slapstick comedy like the stuff oh. that we grew up on you know like like a lot of that stuff like wow, the will ferrell's really like specific. martin and steve carell i mean like the, the list goes on of like stuff that i grew up on right like watching movies and sitcoms do you like the office oh yeah okay good. oh yeah a lot of that stuff is already reflected in some of the skits and ongoing characters that i produce for my online content yeah just so I'm like always cutting my teeth on that stuff and like showing people like, hey, I've, I've got that, I've got that in me. Yeah. I, I just want to make sure you know that. I would also love to film a one shot film. I saw, I, I was watching, I, Boil, I was watching that. Boiling Point. As a theater girl, oh, I love that. And that's, as, that's instantly what I, what I thought about. I was like, this is like theater meets on camera. Yeah. Because like, you have to be in it. Like the one camera shot. might swing back and hit you. <laughs> like yeah. you can't just be sipping coffee when the scene is like you, I don't know at the post office like and, you can't just do that dude and i just thought no editing you can publish that's that. the craziest thing i mean about it. coloring sound you might adjust some levels but no that's wild and to you'll me. have to add the credits but i'm just saying like right. your editing could potentially be like two days like <laughs> yeah. 16 hours i want to audition for something for that <laughs> I mean, if we end up in a one-shot film together, that'd be crazy because we're talking about it right now. But that's honestly one of the things I want to do. I saw Boiling Point, and I know that's a one-shot, and I was like, this is amazing. Like, everybody in that cast killed it. And I was like, that is so challenging. Like, yeah. you're, you're on the entire time, and you yeah. have to be ready. That camera is swinging back to you eventually. You or, will have or, to do like, it a bunch of times. Yeah, you have to, to do it a bunch right. of times. But, but it's I want to do it. I want to do it. I think it's like a, a it would be like an amazing challenge. So... Yeah, and then voiceover work. I think that's one talent that I haven't really shared too much and I haven't invested a lot into it. Mm -hmm. So I just want to do it. It's like, why not just keep trying to spread joy? Like uh, animations, just, commercials, any, anything, any voiceover? Anything, okay. anything. Like cool. why, why not open up another avenue for yeah. myself as an actor or as a talent yeah. to have work coming in? And then I think I told you earlier, I want to direct something. I don't know why, I just want to. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to film some content for Conrad. Where are you going to post this? TikTok, TikTok and Instagram? Instagram, and YouTube. The first collab ever on my platform. Thank you so much, Conrad, yeah. for hanging out. Of and course. if you guys want to cast us, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and I also will put my reel. I'm going to put both of our reels right here. So if you want to cast us as actors, you can go ahead and see our work. Yes, indeed. Let's do it again. Because yeah. I cut your head off. All good. Shoulder hey. film. Absolutely. Watch out. This car. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> it's until we're pushed. Yeah, don't push me because I'm close to that. Hey. Conrad. Sorry, sorry. So your dog's name? His name's Martin. Martin, don't listen to this. Martin watches my videos. I, I, <laughs> I'm good. Rolling. Dude, we've already been talking for 21 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I was ready. <laughs>